Hello friends, my name is Paresh and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to see how we can configure OneDrive integration with Dynamics 365. So keep watching and stay tuned. If you don't know what OneDrive is, well, OneDrive is used for storing documents on cloud and is a Microsoft feature. With OneDrive, you get one terabyte of cloud storage, uh, which is provided per user. Coming on to security settings and permissions, there is a basic difference between SharePoint and OneDrive, where in SharePoint, uh, when you share document, when you publish a document, it is shared with all. Whereas when you upload a document in OneDrive, it is private to the user. So it's not shared with all. And if you would like to share with all, you have to do that manually. You have to enable that and manually share with the person that you want to share the document with. Now, the steps to configure OneDrive integration involves two steps. First, which is a mandatory step where you have to configure SharePoint server based integration. And once you have done that, step number two is to enable OneDrive for business feature. So these are the two steps that you need to do to configure OneDrive integration. So let's go ahead and see how it works in Dynamics 365. All right, so here we are in our Dynamics 365 environment. And what we need to do is we need to go to the document management settings. So the new way to go to advanced settings is by clicking on this cog and click on advanced settings. This will open the settings page and by clicking on the settings, you can go to document management. Now, as far as the first step is concerned, that is to, to enable the SharePoint integration. I have discussed that in detail in one of my previous videos, and I have also provided the link of that video in the description down below, so you can go through that. Uh, since it is already enabled, so you cannot find the option over here, which says to integrate, to enable the SharePoint integration. And hence, you see that these integrations are already enabled. So for the second step, we need to click on enable OneDrive for business. And over here in this dialog box, we just need to select enable OneDrive for business and then click on OK. This is all that you need to do and everything else, all the settings will be taken care of. So once you click OK, it will take a few seconds to enable that. And once that is done, you will see that the OneDrive for business folder settings appear over here, which means that the OneDrive is now enabled. If you want to change the default folder, you can click on this link over here and change the default folder name over here and click on OK. The other thing that you need to check is the right permissions. Um, so if you do not have the right permissions, you won't be able to use the OneDrive feature. So for that, you can go to the security roles uh, that your user has. Uh, click on security, security roles. And if you go to one of the roles uh, which is assigned to your user, uh, you can go to the core records and if you go all the way down, you will see OneDrive for business. So this should be enabled for you to use this uh, OneDrive feature. To check the feature, let's go to the accounts, click on accounts and select any account that you want over here and then click on related field documents. Now over here under document location, you can also see OneDrive. Now you can click on OneDrive and then upload documents as you want so it's an interesting feature why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself thank you for watching this video if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel tech dynamics bye bye